Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Rudd, and we're back at it with another video. And so, basically, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be commentating over a gameplay of me playing War Robots. And what War Robots is, is a 6 vs 6 PvP domination type of game. And the objective of the game is for you to either destroy everyone on the other team or hold all five beacons until the end of the match. Alright, now that all explanations are out of the way, let's get straight into the game. There are two modes, Domination and Beacon Rush mode. I prefer Domination, but for this gameplay I'm going to be doing Beacon Rush. Beacon Rush is a little different from Domination because unlike Domination, you can actually spawn at the beacon. So just in case your enemy tries to take your beacon, you can spawn immediately at that beacon so you can prevent them from taking it. These are my top three robots, and for taking beacons, I'm going to be choosing my fastest robot. And a habit that I tend to have with war robots is when I get into a match, I look around and see who my allies are and see what kind of robots they have. So I can be like, oh, all right, your robot's pretty decent. Or be like, uh, your robot's not that impressive, but it'll do. And so what I normally do with my fastest robot is that I run straight towards the nearest beacon, as you see that I'm doing right now. And because I see cover, I'm gonna hide behind it just in case anyone has any machine guns or weapons to fire at me. Then I always go to the second closest beacon. But before I go to the second closest beacon, I always check around the corner, see if anybody's just camping, waiting. And as you guys can see in the like top right corner, someone's camping right there waiting for me. So then I just run back to my allies. Okay, now right here at this part, I thought the game was getting a little loud, so I had to adjust the volume so it wouldn't, like, interfere with my commentary. And what I always do after capturing beacons is I go around and help out my allies, just in case they're getting attacked, so I can, like, provide some assistance as I'm doing with these two right under this bridge. A good strategy in war robots that you want to do is keep looking around because someone may sneak up on you from behind. Always look around. I didn't look behind me because, well, there wasn't really anybody behind me at the moment. And right here I'm going to capture their beacon because, well, why not? I may, I'm right near it so I may as well just capture it. And right as this robot jumps right here, and because I knew his weapons are way stronger than mine, and because I knew that robot was bigger, I immediately run back to my allies, just so they could assist. Then right after one starts attacking, I help with the attack. And there are many different types of weapons that you can use in this game. On my fastest um, robot, I'm using a little area damage weapon that I can use for like explosions, mostly. And for like people that have like equipped shields on the side and I'm adjusting the volume again because I don't know why. Anyways, in this situation like how we're double teaming this dude, never go in a robot fight alone because you're more than likely gonna lose unless they're both small robots and you have like a heavy robot. Okay now that I've mentioned the whole light and heavy thing, there are three different types of robots that you can use in this game. There are light robots, there are medium robots, and there are heavy robots. Light robots have a faster movement speed, but less health. Medium robots have like in between, like a balance. And heavy robots have the least movement speed, but the most amount of health. So yeah, heavy robots are more for combat instead of capturing beacons. And there are also certain robots in the game that have special abilities that you can use to like get a little edge on your opponents. Some robots can jump, some, ro some robots can move faster, and there are other robots that have like a shield mechanic just in case you're taking a lot of fire, you can just use the shield to prevent all that damage. With my light robot I tend to sneak up on people from behind but I was getting attacked by both of them then so I immediately ran back to one of my closest allies so we can take them on together. In a way, I know it sounds a little cheap, but it's better to have allies with you than just facing two people alone. Another good strategy that I've picked up while playing War Robots is always defend your beacon with care. Because if some robot comes out of nowhere and takes your beacon without you looking, then yeah, it could probably turn the tide of the game. And if you see your teammate getting attacked like I saw my teammate getting attacked 
help them out, no matter how much health you got. Even if your robot is on the verge of dying like mine, always help out your teammates. Because an enemy is trying to capture my beacon, I immediately spawn one of my heavy robots to take care of them. Just so they won't have my beacon, so they won't, you know, turn the tides of the game like I said earlier. This big boy is always used for combat. So what I always do with this robot is, well, I find the nearest person near me and just straight up shoot him like any other person would do. A combination of two heavy robots is actually pretty intimidating. And right here you're about to see someone jump out of nowhere and try and shoot me, so in a situation like that I immediately like either turn to them and shoot them or like turn away depending on the health that I have. And notice how my ally's taking care of him, so we swapped. Enemies that is. And so notice right after that robot, we immediately take care of that robot. And because he knows, or she, I don't want to assume anyone's gender, notice how they know, oh my god, it's two robots, I don't think I can take them both on, so I'm gonna hide. Normally, I don't really go after them, but in Beacon Rush, there are certain moments where I'm like, uh-uh, come back here, you're gonna die today. And so what I do right here is I wait for my rocket to like reload so then I could use it on him, like how I just used my heat-seeking rockets on him. And now from what I'm observing, we currently have like a massive advantage against the enemy team, mainly because there's four of us, two of them, outnumbered one to two. I meant to say two to one, but I digress, and this robot then noticed me shooting at him, so then he tries to run away by using his jump ability, but I immediately keep shooting him while he's midair but then I lose sight of him, so then I decide to let my teammates take care of him. I try and assist with my little heat-seeking missiles, but then it was already too late because the enemy had died. And notice how we're all gonna be shooting around in a minute, just wait. Yeah, how we're shooting around right now, that's just us taunting because, well, we won. And then this concludes the match of Beacon Rush that I've just done. Well, as you guys already observed, that is. After every single match, whether it's a win or a loss, you get silver, gold, and XP. And premium players get 50% more silver and 50% more XP. Now, what a premium player is, is basically, well, you have to pay for 50% more silver and 50% more XP for a certain amount of days. And as it showed, you have the option of paying for 10 days or 30 days. Okay, normally what you see in War Robots when you start it up is your robots and all these buttons. And the upgrade button that I just clicked is what the shop recommends me to upgrade. Now the shop is going to always recommend something to upgrade for like the like least amount. And now it's time to show off the robots that I have purchased with silver, obviously, in game. Now, not all of them are exactly like as high level as my main robots as you see here but those are the robots that i had to work with before i got my main three that i use so yeah that's pretty much it also i honestly don't know why i clicked on that but still and as displayed there's my profile just in case you see me in the middle of a game and that concludes my video don't forget to subscribe for more content and don't forget to stay awesome everybody i'll see you in the next video